Hey guys, M12 here, back with another video, and today, I'm playing some Castle Crashers. Now, this is a cool little game I bought on Xbox Live and whatnot, and it's pretty fun to play, and I'm sort of happy that I can now finally record this, so I'm going to... Hop right into the first level. Okay, that's some sort of bad guy. And as you can tell, our kingdom was attacked. Now, I'm a very low rank noble. I'm like sort of high in the social structure in kingdoms, knights are. But, uh, the lowest ranked noble. I'm not a vassal, but, uh, if I do well, a portion of the land that we reach. That, that we capture is going to be given to me. Not to mention the reason we're doing this is because we could technically lose land. Because nobles have rights to their land and if they married with other nobles he usually tries to increase a fiefdom's power. Because technically they're one family. And that sort of sucks because nobles really didn't get a choice as to who they married. They're pretty much what parents chose for them. Unless they died for whatever reason. If they died in battle, if they were a knight or something, I don't know, but, uh... And now that guy is going to... Okay, I'll help my knight friend. We are both from the same, uh, kingdom. I'll just grab some of this. Stock up on some of these. These are health potions, so I need them. Now, some of these levels are very short, so I'm probably going to play, like, the first three or four levels. Um, as I move later on, it may take longer to do a level, so instead of doing three or four, maybe one or two. I think I might do a separate video for all of the, um, for all of the arenas. Or if some take forever, I feel like I could just do, like, one arena challenge per video. I might do that. Although some of them might be short, but I don't mind. Uh, if there are certain things you want me to do re in regards to this, like where I found uh, all my animal orbs, I could try and do all the ones that I think I can remember, or um, tips on how to find secret stuff, just let me know. And I'd be more than happy to do videos about that as well. Now, what I'm fighting here is a new type of enemy that's a thief, the one with the hood. They prim primarily are known for a good agility, because they spam arrows. Like, it's their business, and it's so annoying. Because the second you get knocked down with an arrow, you try to get back up, and the second you get back up, you get knocked down again by an arrow, and it gets very annoying. Although, they can, like, have super agility, so the arrow can go flying across the screen. My thing doesn't even go all the way across the screen. It's not that high, but agility also controls how fast you move. So primarily, the best thing to do is to avoid them. Like this. To use this technique to avoid them. Then try and hit them in the air where they cannot get you with the arrows. Like with an air attack with like magic. Or um, just keep going like this and avoid them until you can get close enough to get in melee. A range take them out if that's if they are the thieves the barbarians on the other hand i i see are well rounded in their skills somewhat
by the way, I, this is like a medieval era like game. This is knights fighting against other um, kingdoms and whatnot. You want me to talk about some of the stuff that historical stuff that's related to this? Because I just it, if some you don't know, I love to read about stuff from history. I'll <clears throat> Some days I'll just like feel like I want to learn about history, so I'll pre record uh, stuff the day before. And just like watch history videos all day, I don't. So. Although I'm reading at camp, barbarians don't have their own code of chivalry and don't play fair the same way we do so we don't give that we don't show them the same way but if it was another night usually we would wait we'd like surround them and and because it's code of chivalry i would i've read in a book that sometimes knights would usually let the other knight put on all of their armor grab their sword and weapon and then engage in combat Give them a chance to defend themselves. If by any means that they are severely outnumbered and some of them get captured, they have been known to let their hostages go if they were willing enough to pay the fee or the ransom demand. Ow! He laughs at me like that. You wanna know what? There. Apparently whacking a treasure chest unlocks it. I guess pip locking does not even matter. I'm gonna collect as much of this loot before it tries to despawn. And I missed one gold coin. What's the matter? Now, now princesses and princes were also nobles, and they did, in fact, own land. Usually more than what the knights would own, but, um, uh, because land pretty much during that time was pretty much power. Until they later developed uh, a money system. Now, this one you normally don't go to until you do all of the other missions up here. So, I'm going to do this. I, I've done most of the game. I haven't done all of it. I'm going back and playing pretty much most of these because um, I want to actually record it for you guys. And share this experience that I have. Ow! They'll do whatever. Like, they'll purposely try to get on that... Alligator or horse or what, whatever you call it. Ooh. Okay, so horse attacks and then my attack. Alligator rabies if I bite these people is what I'm wondering. Why is normally your heavy attack? But sometimes it can be an animal attack. But my uh, light attack does more damage than the alligator can, so. Than the alligator's bite. Gonna grab this. Now you see that music coming from the from behind that bush? That's where you can get another hidden animal lord. <coughs> Although I do not want that one, I will show you where it is, because I think I can swap it right back to the one I'm currently using. By the way, after this point you cannot take your alligator with you, your pet alligator. 
You got an animal orb. And it's right there. It's an owl. I think that one allows you to find uh, hidden items easier. Or something related to finding hidden items. <clears throat> okay, moving bush. That's not suspicious whatsoever. <clears throat> we have to sit here and watch an owl poop itself well when we wait for something loud to uh happen. Do not let them get away from you. They will spam arrows and it will get annoying. <clears throat> if you don't believe me, you should definitely watch the video where I go and do some of the arena challenges. These guys will spam arrows. Like, and it gets so annoying. like they'll know right where you're gonna be and they'll purposely try and avoid melee if they can I know so much about these guys now the cloud I did <coughs> the cloud I do only only it affects a small Range people. Now that's another pet orb, but I'm not gonna collect that because I already have the one that I want. This cloud of acid that I fire out damages several people. Well, this projectile that I launch does more damage, but only can hit and target one person. And for some of these people, because I've leveled it up so high. Um, I, the lingering effect of the acid can sometimes be more than enough to kill it. I don't know what to call these things. They're weird. And hairy. It's a bit gross. Rather keep this because this is a good. Apparently, there's a hidden weapon behind there. <laughs> <laughs> 